Mata. Happy to see you once again to share the word of God with you. This is the most important thing you can ever have in this world. Uh, you know, the Son of God gave this beautiful gift for us. We did not deserve it, but because of the kind of love he had for us, he had to give it for us. And because we received this secret, we are happy once again to share the same with you. So I'll be reading from the book of Romans chapter 5 verses 8 just to confirm what I'm sharing with you. So Romans chapter 5 verses 8. Okay, I read. But he demonstrates his love for us in this while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his own blood, how much more shall we be saved? God's wrath drew him. For if while we were still God's enemies, we were reconciled to God through his son. Not only this is so, but we will boast through God, through Jesus Christ. Through him we have now received. Praise be to the name of the Lord. So we did not deserve to receive this, but he gave this gift to us even before, I mean, he forgave us even before we received him. What manner of love is this? You know, according to the book of Romans chapter, 3, 6 verses 23, it says that for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, which is for eternity through his son, Jesus Christ. So we are happy to share this eternal gift, which shall, which shall be there forever and ever. You know, the enemy is a great liar. He gives us things which seem to be appealing which are just for a short time. But God is there to give us these gifts forever and ever. And John chapter 10 verses 10 says that, For the enemy cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So the enemy wants to kill you. The enemy wants to destroy you. But God is there to give you life and do it more abundantly. He's there to give you gifts which will last will last forever and ever so make this important choice it is upon you to make this choice and you will harvest forever and ever don't let the enemy lie for you you know whatever we are receive we are experiencing in this life is just there for a moment it's good to work hard it's good to have the best things of life but these are just there for a moment. We have more better promises which are there forever and ever. And this depends with the kind of choice we make in life. So God has given us the ability to make decisions, the ability to make choices. So it is upon you to make a choice, to make confession, and you will experience this life forever and ever. This is to say that there is a lot of power whenever you make confession. There, are, there is a lot of power through the word of your mouth. And through the word of your mouth, you can make this important choice <coughs> and you will experience these kind of blessings the rest of your life. And you know this salvation was given freely and we are happy to share with you freely. And this salvation was offered for each and every age group. Whether you are a young man, whether you are old, it doesn't matter. It is never too late. Jesus is there and is very happy to receive you just as you are. So just reach out to him and you will experience his warm embrace. You will experience uh, this, this kind of experience. And you know, according to the book of Revelation 3, verses 20, it says that Jesus is there at the door knocking, 
and whenever you open your door, he's very happy to come inside and be with you. So I'd like to urge us, open your hearts. Jesus is ready to receive you just as you are. God bless you people of Parramatta.